Hello, my name is Shade. welcome. And this evening, I'm just doing a quick video in response to a question I got underneath one of my videos, asking whether I'm the only carnivore in my home and how was that for me? So yes, I am the only carnivore in my home. My son is about 90% carnivore. My husband isn't carnivore. He eats a lot of meat, but he isn't carnivore. Um, it was very hard at first and I didn't feel like I was going to get through it. I thought it was extremely unrealistic. I couldn't see myself doing it long term, especially the first week. I, I thought I was fooling myself, but I fooled myself into two months now and I'm glad I did because now I can never imagine going back to those foods. Whereas in the beginning, it felt really unrealistic. I was watching everybody else eat and I was like, I'm really never going to touch any of those foods again. Like the vegetable oils and the fries and the meat, the, the battered meats and, you know, like all of the junk food that I'm just seeing constantly around me. I just, there was, n there was nothing in me that thought it was just a realistic thing. I, I thought to myself, and the addiction was talking as a lot in the beginning of my journey as well. Um, I'm around nine weeks in now. My addiction was really talking a lot like, oh, you're never, re you're really never going to eat this again. Hmm. We'll see about that. And as time went on, as the days went on, um, it got easier and easier and easier so with my son I don't really have to, I don't feel uh, tempted or anything because he just eats what I eat and I give him fruits for snacks and he just hates vegetables I tried guys so I'm not holding him away from vegetables I put vegetables on his plate and he throws them away so you know that says something about human health the proper human diet I guess but he does love fruits so I give him um what I eat I give him fruits for snacks but when he's not with me that's when he isn't carnivore he's on a typical SAD sad diet standard American diet and it I'm really wanting to get a control of that so when he's out and he's not with me he is still eating majority at least 70 percent carnivore but yes i am the only carnivore in my family it is well, it was extremely difficult and it takes time guys it's it feels very unrealistic at first it feels like something that you're never going to be able to do especially in the first four weeks the first day is incredibly hard the second day is incredibly hard it doesn't get easier until at least the fourth and fifth week you know it takes time to create a habit so if you think you're just gonna jump into it and everything is just gonna be fine and all us carnivores on the inter internet are making it look so easy it's not it's hard but you get through that and eventually you can have a plate right in front of you of food well I can anyway and uh, of food that I used to really love and it doesn't do anything for me anymore um, somebody brought me some digestive biscuits from London from London like my favorite biscuits and I I feel nothing for them they they can sit in a cupboard now and they could be there forever because I'm not tempted it takes time for the body to adjust and eventually the taste buds adjust and you just don't want it anymore and it sounds so hard to believe and I didn't even expect that to happen I thought I was gonna crave this stuff for the rest of my life and I thought I had basically just put myself on another eating disorder roller coaster of now I can't eat this now I'm restricting myself from this. Now I'm just feeding into the eating disorder even more and that's not the case. So yes, it was very difficult for me in the beginning, in the first four weeks especially, but as the fifth week came in and now I'm in the ninth week, every day seems to get easier and easier. And guys, if you stick to it, stick through it, you get there. I find that um, a lot of people that start a carnivore diet, it's very, very difficult for them to get through the first week four weeks but if you can get through the first four weeks then the only thing that could really stop you from you know progressing is if you allow the desire to get in the way because the cravings go but the desire doesn't necessarily go anywhere you still have the desire for food you still think oh I could have I could do it with an ice cream or or that that smells quite good I could do with that but the craving is gone so it's not like eating at you anymore it's not like you're salivating for it it's just more so you miss it like it like an ex that you should stay away from uh kind of thing so yeah it was difficult but I got past it and now nothing phases me like no smell no food no biscuit no chocolate no nothing so it, I guess it depends on the person but the longer you give it the better you become at being, you know, um, resistant to the foods that you know are no longer serving you in any way. So I hope that answers the question. Um, being around family and uh, having family eat 
the normal, the typical foods that you used to eat and not eating it yourself can feel very restrictive at first, but eventually you get used to it and it becomes habitual. So yeah, that is it guys. Have a wonderful evening. I'll be back with another video soon. Please like and subscribe. This channel is doing so well and I'm just so happy that it's doing so well. Um, take care. Sweet dreams guys. Bye bye.